What's up everybody? This is O with CLO Ed TV. Today we're actually going to be making our own measuring tools. So we're going to be making our own rulers today. We'll be using a free software called Inkscape and I'll leave the link in the description below. The cool thing about making a custom measuring tool is you can design them to your very own needs. I've always wanted a ruler where you could actually take the measurement and read them from left or the right side and not have to read the numbers upside down. So I couldn't find a ruler that was already designed this way, so I had to design my own. And that's what this video is about today. We're gonna go ahead and design our ruler in Inkscape, take it to the laser and cut it out. And the materials we'll be using today is acrylic and also PVC. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is basically set up your grid. Here, I'm just setting my page size to what I want and where it says grid units, make sure you switch that to inches. All right, now the spacing means the distance each grid line is gonna take. So you have your spacing X and spacing Y, and I just did those at a quarter of an inch. If you want your ruler more accurate, you can go eighth, 16th, or even 32nd. All right, and that's what you wanna do first. So the next step essentially is going ahead and pulling down your guideline and starting to draw your ruler. Now I may use the rectangle. Now here it looks a little rounded on the ends, but that's only because there was a chamfer. I went ahead and took that chamfer out, added a simple color to it just for visibility. And once you have that, now you can move on to making your marking lines. And if you set your grid up properly, all you have to do is resize your lines and basically put them in place where you want them to show and I put a line every quarter of an inch. Okay, and so once you do one set of lines, if you have your distances measured properly, you can just copy a set of marks and then repeat and copy and paste them over. Once you have that set, you wanna go ahead and save yourself some time. So go ahead and copy your first side of your lines and copy the whole set and over. Then you're gonna flip them. So now what I'm doing here is just basically putting in place my numbers for each uh, measurement using the text tool. And once you have your whole row set up, you can copy and paste over your second set of numbers, flip them, and then flip each individual number. Now I wanted a ruler that measures from both sides. So this is why I had to do this. But if you're doing a one-sided ruler, you don't need numbers on both sides. This is just what I wanted. And so now I'm just inching and cinching each number in place and making sure it's facing the proper way. All right, last few details. You wanna make sure that the item that you're engraving is gonna be uh, engraved in black and cutouts are in red, okay? And I'm just adding a little hang feature here with a hole at the top of the ruler. And just for a little style, a little spice, I wanna add my custom logo to it. And that's the cool thing about making your own ruler. You can customize it and make it however which way you want. So now I'm here just putting the logo in place and pretty much it's ready to go. All right, now I've got the ruler saved on my flash drive. Let's go ahead and take it to the laser and get these rulers cut out. Okay, I've got everything loaded in the K40 Whisper. So all I gotta do is hit engrave first and then we're gonna run the cut path. All right, let's get into it. I'll come back when the laser is close to the end of the engraving. Okay, the engraving is now finished. Next, we're gonna do the cutout. All right, let's see how they turned out. Okay, very cool. So all I gotta do is just clean it up and we'll look at the final result and let's run a couple more colors. All right, let's get some more colors done. I was really pleased with how the colors came out. If you guys would like to support the channel and pick up a ruler, they will be available at clolearnshop.com in five different colors. Okay, here I'm just demonstrating how you can measure from both sides two directions without even flipping the ruler over and having to read the numbers upside down. Now with the clear ruler, you can actually see through it. At CLO Academy, we'll be going over how to make speed squares, 
also measuring tapes and other forms of measuring tools in those courses. And this video is a small demonstration of what you could do with your own creativity. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in on this video. If you would like to support the channel, you can pick up your very own custom CLO ruler and links in the description below. Also, if you would like to support CLO Academy, there is a donation link right on the screen and also in the description link below. Any amount will be appreciated. And as we continue to build the Academy, we will make sure we recognize all our donors. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how you make your very own custom ruler and drop some comments in the comment section below and tell me what type of ruler you would design and also some ideas that you may have on making your own custom ruler. I really appreciate you tuning in. Can't wait to see you on the next video and take care. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.